it's pretty wild how a tanker truck fire uh, made part of the I-95 collapse. I'm still curious as to what caused the tanker truck to ignite. Multiple lanes of Interstate 95 northbound in Philadelphia collapsed after a tanker truck fire erupted underneath an overpass. The northbound side of I-95 has completely collapsed and the southbound side is not structurally sound to carry any traffic over it. Emergency dispatchers received a call for an accident on the off-ramp of I-95 at 6.22 a.m. Sunday morning. And if there's any underpants, something is uh, ignited. Give me two more engines. Large plumes of thick black smoke could be seen hanging over the highway. The fire department says crews have extinguished the fire, but explosions could be heard in the area. Those are uh, the runoff of uh, maybe some fuel or gas lines that could have been compromised by the accident. Ooh, hopefully gas lines aren't compromised because that could, that could spread and well spread throughout the city and maybe cause some um, explosions far down the line. Okay, so that's what you hear in. Multiple agencies are now involved in the response with some expressing concern over the runoff due to the proximity of the Delaware River. The incident upgraded to a hazmat situation. Oh my God, the road's falling. ER nurse Lisa Taramino says she could feel the overpass begin to slump as she drove over it on her way to work. That was like a sinkhole. It felt like, like if you were driving and you hit a really big pothole, and the whole entire road just sunk down probably a good six to 12 inches. And I was hoping that the car would come back up the other side. Once she learned. Why were they still letting people drive across that section of road while there was a fire underneath? You would have, you would think they would, you know, uh, cordon off that area. ...of the collapse, she says she was grateful to be safe, but frustrated with the response. It probably should have been closed before I ever went over top of it. Officials did not say how long the closure could last, but urged motorists to plan alternative travel routes. M1, ABC News, Washington.